What up, collective? My name is Delilah, and I'm the owner of Starseed Direct. This is going to be another channel reading. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge, baby. Thank you to all my new visitors, as well as my returning galactic veterans. We're going to go ahead and get into this free energy reading, okay? We're going to start off with an angel number. Please look this angel number up. It may have a significance for you and may give the reading I'm about to do a more in-depth guidance okay so we have the number five the number three the number eight five three eight five three eight is your angel number for this reading we also have the sword okay ace of swords so this is speaking of a truth okay a truth which you won't find anything less here but needless to say here we go all right we're gonna start with some now later oracles and then we're gonna go ahead and get right into it okay thank you for every like every share every comment every subscribe helps me continue to keep this energetic space open to share my knowledge as well as help others in the greater purpose of us raising earth's vibration and also assisting others through the method of metaphysical practices knowledge expanding uh, uh, advancement excuse me and guidance all right <clears throat> also if you would like to see all the plethora of ways i get down check the description box below if you want to participate in our monthly light work mission um all donations and proceeds this month are going towards um a collective mission that i'm working with um the abused women and children's foundation in my local area across a few different shelters okay so if you don't want to donate financially and you want to purchase something for the shelters i have an amazon wish list that i'm going to pin in the comment section below any of those items that you would like to purchase towards the donation drive that we are having is wholeheartedly appreciated thank you so much in advance let's go ahead and get right into it mm. all right we have caught in the act. Somebody was caught in the act collective. Possibly a karmic energy. These karmics are not on your level. Wow, their Akashic ritual backfired. Gained past life debt instead of abundance. Wow. <laughs> Metatron fired their ass. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay. You're also getting Lot's wife. Don't look back. Okay. So that may be significant for someone. You could be a physical wife or... Spirit may be leading you to not even look back at this situation. Know that Archangel Metatron is handling it as well as your other spirit guides and ancestors, okay? So what we're getting from this message so far is someone performed some kind of a mass ritual, okay? To try to gain your inheritances that have been given to you from a past life. You know, that's also speaking of switching destinies and things of that nature, I'm also hearing Claire audiently the Book of Shadows. I don't know if they're dabbling in this, if this was a publicly renowned ritual. Whatever they did, they sacrificed something, and they're definitely getting karma in lieu to this, okay? These people were caught in the act, so you may hear news stories about this. You may physically catch this person or group. I don't know what the situation is, Collective. You let it fit for your story, okay? We're going to keep it free flow in general. Let's get some tarot in there and see what's going on. All right. So, this could be in regards to a fire element and an earth element. You have the Six of Wands coming out as well as the Seven of Pentacles. Six, seven is a, a natural progression, okay? So, those numbers may be significant. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? But ultimately, the energy surrounding this has something to do with these two energies, okay? 
Um, I'm getting strong narcissism as well as something in lieu to a prior engagement from the past or looking back at a situation. Perhaps this person is looking back or these group of people are looking back and wondering why it didn't work. Okay. Possibly because that kind of shit just don't work collective. They possibly tried to do this without going noticed, but they were actually caught doing this. And now they're burdened by this truth coming to the surface. <sighs> mm. This may involve a sacrifice or death or f multiple deaths, you know, could have been as much as I'm getting 13 deriving to four. You also have 10, six, seven, eight. All right. Mm. I'm also hearing something in regards to um, legalities. Yeah. Whatever was trying, whatever they tried to do to hoodwink the particular parties involved, the illusion is over because the Seven of Cups is coming out in reverse, okay? All these cups now are getting poured out. I'm also getting that there may also be some kind of contracts, partnerships, or endorsements lost due to this particular situation, all right? This may involve family with the Ten of Cups, okay? The illusion is over regarding a family dynamic, okay? Due to some kind of ritual that was done, okay, possibly involving the Book of Shadows. Um, some kind of ritual that people tried to usurp the energy of someone or a group of people in particular, possibly a family, okay, to inherit their either spiritual gifts, their abundance, or whatever, okay? They were definitely caught in the middle of doing this, and now... Because they did this, Archangel Metatron is all over this, okay? This may have happened directly due to them trying to manipulate um, an Archangel's space, place, you know, when you're dealing with what I admiringly like to call them the secret service of the throne room of God. And there's a reason why I say that they each have a particular directive and mission that they stand over. Okay. God, you know, is very meticulous with how he creates and delegates things. Okay. If you haven't noticed, just look around you. All of this has been created, including us by him. Okay. You're not looking back at this situation, though, collective, because you know, ultimately, you're being guided away from this wholeheartedly. And, you know, you're seeking refuge in what you know to be the truth. You're no longer stuck in your head or confused, okay? You know, this particular person, of uh, possibly a fire sign, doesn't have to be, is very defensive right now in regards to this truth being revealed, okay? Extremely defensive, Okay, and they're burdened by this because now this may, wow, okay, it's definitely multiple people involved because they're, it's coming out twice. So six, seven, 77 may be significant. Okay, you're getting seven, three times. So that may also be significant, but whatever this is alluding to, these particular people are very defensive. This could also be the people who actually were sacrificed, maybe the families involved, Okay, I'm definitely getting some legal energy here, but collective for the person in regards to who they did this ritual for, okay, or whoever they tried to switch their Akashic record with, you're being guided to move forward independently, okay? This was, I'm hearing, this was the sign that you asked for, perhaps a shooting star, you made a wish, you made a prayer, you you know, fasted, you got in your prayer closet, whatever allotment of, you know, practices that you spiritually practice, or maybe you just said, God, I just need a sign. If this is, you know, the direction I need to be going in and God gave you a sign. All right. Because these people were caught in the act and it really just 
was a blatant sign, okay? With Lot's wife coming out, this speaks of the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, where God warned Lot and his family to leave this situation completely behind in, in Sodom and Gomorrah because he was about to destroy their whole conglomerate, okay? He was about to punish these people for being wicked and engaging in wicked type activity and for Lot to take his family and his wife and leave. But the wife wanted to look back endearingly at it. So it's something that you had to move from move away from collective that was difficult to do because something back there you loved or maybe you were passionate about, you know, this may also involve either a karmic soulmate, a karmic twin flame, whatever. I don't know what it involves. You tell me. But as far as I'm concerned, your real twin flame wouldn't be trying to do rituals to switch the Akashic record with you and that person. Okay, let's just keep it a stack here. But let's continue. Yeah, you ultimately knew this was the sign that you asked for with the high priestess. I'm speaking to a high priestess right now. This is your story. If it is, please do me a favor and hit that like button. I appreciate you. You're being led out of this toxic ass situation of smoke and mirrors. And you were divinely guided out of this. You possibly got a vision or a sign about this, okay? That this wasn't the cup you were supposed to take. Okay, because it was basically signing you up for your demise, possibly even your death. Okay, I'm also hearing attempted murder. These people possibly have plotted to attempt to murder you or murder your your future or your destiny in regards to the record. Okay, and... You following your intuition and leaving a situation behind is good news to Metatron and the rest of your angel or ancestor guides, okay? The Most High is shining down upon you, okay? Knowing that this was the right decision to make, okay? And this is going to end up being wish fulfillment for you and whoever comes with you. You got the Nine and the Ten of Cups is getting clarified over the Six of Swords. So you're moving away from this is going to usher in and unlock blessings for you. Okay? Abundance is what I'm also hearing with the Nine of Pentacles here. You're seeking and venturing out on your own. Okay? Making a plan to do so using your intuition. Okay? Okay? With the three of pentacles covering this. It may be th literally three of you. I don't know how big your family is. But you're moving forward independently. Okay. To be in control. Knowing. I'm also hearing knowing that God is in control. Absolutely. Okay. Because you're in your emperor energy now. Whoever these group of people were or conglomerate, they definitely were in Seven of Swords energy. They were definitely deceptive and they have the audacity to be defensive, okay? Their deception ended up betraying them in the end, though, with the Ten of Swords. Because what they thought was going to be a mass blatant win for whoever they aligned with ended up failing miserably, okay? And now they may be facing karma, for even trying to pull this off, okay? <clears throat> Clarifying the emperor is the queen of pentacles. So you could be someone that um, is in control. I'm also getting balanced, okay? So you're moving forward with a balanced plan. And you're, you're letting your intuition guide you on said plan. And you're not looking back. Because you know that looking back is just going to, you know, <sighs> cause you worry. Cause you concerned. Concern, excuse me. These people may also be trying to project some kind of fear magic or fear energy. Or, you know, keep you in some kind of confusion or mind state or have you, you know, fearing what's going to happen. There's nothing to fear, collective. Let the most high deal with them. There's nothing to fear, okay? I'm telling you right now, you don't have to worry. Whatever visions you're getting, trust and believe that the most high is giving you those visions for a reason. These people are toxic. I don't care what they look like. 
they're toxic. And because they tried to mess with your record habitually, the Wheel of Fortune is now in the reverse for them, okay? This betrayal speaks of public humiliation. I'm also getting with the sword energy covering the Wheel of Fortune. This may also speak of a financial loss, okay? I'm surprised the Justice card didn't come out. And as I say it, the Justice card is coming out. These people may actually be physically facing lawsuits because of this situation. This is what they manifested in trying to do these rituals. 10 and 1 is 11, which speaks of manifestation. By them continuing to mess with the Akashic Record and disrespecting the Most High as well as His Secret Service, they are now having to face karmic justice for doing so, okay? Just know that these people, I don't care how much money they have, I don't care how popular they are, I don't care however many they are, okay? Maybe... They felt like there was strength in numbers, but can't nobody box better than God, okay? And these particular people are facing them golden gloves, baby. Remember, we got that these karmics are not on your level, okay? And um, the Most High has ushered in and assisted many, many before you, collective, in many lifetimes before, with the faith the size of a mustard seed, you will prevail, okay? Because you're in your high priestess energy, you know that you were divinely led away from this situation for a reason. And you made a plan to move on independently, okay? Focusing on your storehouse and what you're in charge of. Spirit is telling you, don't look back, okay? Maybe some part of you wants to, but right now, you need to take heed to the messages you're getting, and in doing so, it's going to usher in that last pinnacle you need from the...